Hi, this is Sherry Veronica, and today is Easter Sunday, and I see a lot of Happy Easter flown around in my chat, and I wonder, when did you become a religious nation? Are you religious on certain days? Are you religious even when you are abusing your children? Are you religious when at the back of the church you are probably you know, having sex with someone? Are you religious when you are in the choir and touching someone in a sexual way? Are you religious? Are you religious when you are having babies without the benefit of a marriage, without the benefit of having the means to take care of a child? Is that your religion? So are you walking down Broad Street now with a wooden cross on your back? Do you believe that that really happened? Or are you supposed to accept it because it was given to you by the white man? Do you do the things you do because you're told to do them? Or do you want to believe in something outside of yourself? Do you want to bring yourself so much into humanity that you think that you have to be like the people who held you in bondage when i see photos of black people at the polo games and they're wearing the hats just like the princes in england the uk will wear their hats on the side and you know you just try to rub shoulders with the people at the polo games you know it's like are you really thinking that you're going to become rich by just being around them is it really a joyful sunday is it and when you are raping your children when you are raping your step children when brothers and sisters have relationships now i mean full on relationships you know you grow up and you're adults and you're still it's not as though you're experimenting you are actually in a relationship and you are having kids together they're in Barbados brother and sister brother and sister where is the religion in there does it start after you pull away and say okay I'm going to turn to God I'm going to accept what has been thrown to me pushed on me what I've seen others doing and I laughed at before. Now I'm going to accept that. And what age is that going to happen when you are flat on your back on your bed and you can't move? Is that when you accept this Jesus as your savior? It's a strange day for me because talking to people who lived in the 70s and the 80s and them saying that they escaped their homes because their moms were complicit with a predator father. Their moms, yes, were complicit. And by the time they got to the age where the father's gaze turned to them, they were gone. They they ran, they fled. They went to maybe a stranger's house. They felt safer at a stranger's house than they felt at their own home. You never know where you're safe. You never know where safety is, but a lot of stuff is swept under the carpet there in Barbados. And when you see that Easter Sunday turns or, you know, comes around the 9th to the, this year, the 9th of April, 2023, Easter Sunday, how do you turn religious and then go back and hurt your child? How do you turn religious and then rob someone how do you turn religious and then go to creating counterfeit money for instance how do you turn religious and have a young child tied up in a room in your house as your sex slave how do you turn religious when you are running from people who are saying hey i'm about to have your child and you go into hiding how do you say you are religious and you believe in a god when you have touched a young child inappropriately and then you have to run and hide when 
at what point when do you become religious is it all a game is it what they say one out of 100 of you are actually conscious most of you are walking around unconscious you don't think about these things you just want to eat you just want to eat you just want to have some place to lay your head and you just want a meal a little bit of money in your pocket is that all you need so you're walking around unconscious but then at certain points you pivot and you become religious just for a couple hours it's a joke it really is a joke and if there is a god he must be quite sad he has been you have you have made him quite sad in the past according to your scriptures he has become pretty sad watching the way you move, you know, just the way you move. It has made him, you know, send down the fire and the brimstone and whatever else he has sent down. He's tried his best to correct the, the um, th there's some kind of, th the matrix is flawed and he has tried to correct it. But so far, he has not succeeded, you know, so far. He's still trying. I guess he's up there somewhere trying to figure out where he went wrong. But when these holidays come around, it's it's in your face. It really smacks you in the face how people go through life in almost like an unconscious, like the living dead, the walking dead. You go through life unconscious and when a certain time comes around you put on that certain dress you put on that certain face and you present yourself to the world and it's all fake it's all fakery okay so i just wanted to say that because i see these things floating around happy easter happy easter and i know for a fact that one person that sent me that that they are molesting their child I know it for a fact that the child is being molested. So, you know, I don't know what to say to you about walking in godliness. Is there a God? You, 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 you must not really believe that there is a God because sometimes when you believe in something, you can create it to be good. You can make it to be anything you want it to be. And since you are doing what you're doing, you have not made this God to be a good God. You have made this God to be pretty basic, very basic God. And for me, it is, it is like a wake up call on these holidays when I see people pretending to be what they're not. It's a wake up call to trust no one trust no situation no matter how the person speaks no matter what they do no matter what they say trust no one happy easter share veronica